Hello everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint a goose with watercolors. And for the first part of the painting, I'm going to be using some smaller brushes like these ones here. Here we have a 3 over 0 round and then a number 4 round. I'll begin my painting by painting the eye. For that, I'll be taking that small brush I just showed you and then dipping it into a saturated amount of paint. And then I'll be outlining the outer rim of the eye. And then I'll just dip my brush into some clean water and then blend it out like this. This helps create a nice gradient. I'm also going to be making sure to leave some highlights so the eye looks nice and shiny. For the beak, I'll be using a number 4 round brush and then my paint's gray paint. Here I'm creating an outline with the gray paint. Now I'll be using my brown paint again. Even though this area is white, there is still a shadow here. I'll be filling in the area of the goose's neck where it is white. I'll be adding a little bit of paint here, and then again taking my larger brush dipped in water and then just gently blending it out. Just blend it out till you get a nice gradient from brown to white. And then I'll also be applying a light layer of gray paint around the eye. Now that I have an outline created, I'm going to fill it in with two different colors. I'll be using Prussian Blue and Burnt Umber. Now we'll continue down the neck. I'm be using a slightly larger brush dipped into my Prussian blue.
While the paint is still lightly damp, I'm going to add just some clean water and create blooms. And now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of table salt onto the area while it's still wet. The table salt will absorb some of the water and paint and it'll leave the texture. Now I'm going to dip my brush into the watery paint and then just apply it to the front of the chest. I'm going to load up a little bit more yellow ochre and apply some here. And now I'm going to add a saturated amount of brown paint onto my brush and then create feather marks right here. Here I'm just sprinkling some more salt. Here I'm adding a mixture of my Prussian Blue and Payne's Gray. Now I'm going to create a few more feathers using my brush dipped in brown paint. Here I'm splashing a little bit more clean water to create blooms and then I'm going to let it dry. In order to speed up the drying process, I'm going to use a hair dryer. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to wipe off some of the extra salt. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have the full tutorial uploaded on Patreon.